Hey guys, so this video is going to be a little bit different. It's not in any way beauty related. It's more of a home decor video. I tweeted a while back to see if it would be something you guys would be interested in. Um, there was like 99% of the people said they wanted to see it. So it's just one video. I'm not going to make this like an entire new thing on my channel. But I just uh, finally did the office in our house and came out with really good ideas, found really affordable things. And I know a lot of you guys that are into fashion and beauty and all that stuff are also into home decor. So I'm hoping that this video will kind of give you guys ideas, tips, places to look to find affordable things. The office, completely furnished, didn't cost that much money. Um, and it came out really, really great. I'm so proud of it. And um, so I basically took you from before when it was all four white walls to after and it's completely furnished and finished so you guys can kind of see where I went to get the stuff my taste um yeah I didn't know what I wanted to do with it when we first moved in I was so indecisive um and then it kind of just came to me one day I just decided I would love a room that's Tiffany blue so <laughs> it took some convincing with my fiance but he finally came around and was okay with it um and being that it was Tiffany blue I didn't want to go overboard like with too much color so I just did one little accent because I realized that it was almost becoming too much but I wanted to keep everything else very sleek and chic so I did everything else in white um, so it's it's like a very serene place like I love going in there on the computer that's where I edit my videos where I make all my jewelry for you guys and it's just like a nice place to be in it's a nice little sitting area um, it could easily be a baby's nursery one day when and if the time comes you know, it's like a gender neutral color. It could easily be a little girl's room. It could easily be a little boy's room. I don't think that will be the nursery. I think our other spare room will be the nursery. But if, you know, if we wanted it to be, it could easily be. But I think I'm going to always have that as an office until we move out of this house into another house. So I hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you don't want to watch this, if you're not into this, I totally understand. Just X out of the video now. I promise my beauty and fashion-y type videos will resume after this one. I just kind of wanted to share it with you guys. I thought it would be kind of fun and different and you guys get to see my tastes with home decor instead of just makeup and fashion. So if you guys want to see what it looks like, then keep watching. Okay, so I wanted to show you the before. This is our one of our spare rooms and I was just using this kind of as a whatever room because I didn't know what I wanted to do with it. Um, obviously I wanted to turn it into an office but I didn't know what I wanted it to look like or anything like that. So <laughs> so embarrassing that I'm even showing you because it's so ghetto right now but um, I didn't want to just like put a desk in here and just like you know put it together crappy until I really like had a vision for it because I really get excited about that stuff. So. I finally figured out what I want to do and so I wanted to show you the before because it's going to happen quickly and hopefully this will give you guys some good ideas. So I've just been using this little card table as um, my little workstation where I make jewelry. That bookcase over there is where I keep some of the supplies that I use. <clears throat> um, I Okay, so basically that garbage can down there which is from Target is going to be what the color of the walls is going to be. I took a Tiffany box to Sherwin-Williams and they're going to match the color exactly. So the walls will all be Tiffany blue and then the windowsill and the closet right here and the molding will be white. So the white will really pop and um, so I've been looking for a white desk which are not easy to find. I had to go in like the children's section but I found a really cute one. Um, it's probably going to be a little too femme for Nick but that's okay. Uh, him and I both have offices at work so really this is just like a home office for work that overflows that we need to keep at home, but mainly it's just going to be for um, ma making my jewelry, editing videos, we're going to put the computer in here, um, stuff like that. So okay, when I go about designing a room, I the first thing I decide is what color I want it to be, and then I just go from there, because if you have a perfect exact image of what you want it to look like, you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to find the exact things you're looking for, and that's not always a possibility. So if you can at least just find figure out the color scheme, everything else kind of falls into place and you can be really creative. So I love the Tiffany blue color because it's neutral as far as like it's not real feminine. Nick's not going to feel <laughs> unmanly working in here. And it's a very like bright and opening, calming, peaceful color. Nice for like I think a work setting. Um, so these are just some things I have found. Oh, I do want to make mention this couch, which is the most hideous thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Um, the only reason we have it is because it came from Nick's old house, and I hate this couch with a passion. 
Um, clearly it was from a bachelor pad because I would never in my right mind buy this couch. But um, Jake absolutely loves it. Since he was a puppy, um, that was like his little bed. So we didn't want to toss it out. So we are replacing that with a white couch. Hopefully Jake won't really realize the difference. But um, we're going to put another love seat in here. And I can't wait to throw this thing out because it's so ugly. But anyway, these are some of the things I've picked up along the way. I saw this picture at Target. I thought it was so cute. The background's kind of like that Tiffany blue color. I love her little red heels. Um, not sure where I'm going to hang that yet, but I thought that was really cute. And then I found these little like Gerber Daisy huge flowers at, um, where did I find these? Michael's. And I just got blue and white ones. I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. The stems were really long. And then I picked up this vase at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to do something with this and the flowers. I might have to like cut the stems down. But um, I think this will be really cute. And I might like fill these up with beads or something. Um, my favorite places to go shop is Marshall's, like Home Goods, Hobby Lobby, and... Um, TJ Maxx, like Michael's, places like that. I love finding little gadgets. I got these shelves at Hobby Lobby. They're just little short white shelves. I bought three of them. I'm just going to stagger them on the wall. Somehow, haven't figured out where or which wall yet, but three of those. And then I found these really cute glass bottles. Hobby Lobby has a whole bunch of different colors. And this color was like the perfect Tiffany blue. They look like old, this looks like an old like scotch bottle or something. But I'm just going to use them as like display. Maybe set, set some of them on the white shelves, stuff like that. Um, yeah, basically this little basket all has to go into my desk. It came from my, uh, my room at my parents' house. And then the frames and stuff, haven't figured out what I'm going to do. I'm probably going to change the frames to white. And the little pigs and stuff on the floor, I collect pigs, if you didn't know that about me. We're getting a white curio, and I'm going to display like my collectible Barbies and some of the pigs and stuff. Nick is so excited about that one. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm so excited to get this stuff off the floor because it looks so ghetto. But anyway, I just wanted to show you some little things I found along the way. I'm obviously going to make one long video of how the room looks when it's all finished, but I just kind of wanted to give you a before so you can see what kind of a transformation it makes. <laughs> okay, so this is a completely different room. There's Jake. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. Say I love my new room. Yeah. Yeah, bud. Okay, some of you probably are wondering why there's water up here. I don't know. He just drinks a lot of water. <laughs> okay, so, put the light on. This is the Tiffany blue wall, and let me try to get, this is what the whole room looks like. Completely different than what it once did, as you guys all saw in the beginning of this video. So, I'll just kind of take you step by step. These little mirrors here. I've had these since college. They were in my college dorm. I just kind of hung them on the walls. I don't even know where they're from. You could probably find them like Bed Bath & Beyond or something like that. Closet. <laughs> Your daddy would kill you right now if he saw you. Okay, closet. And then this is cards that I have um, that I found out that I actually keep to send with packages and like send to notes cards to people. And the colors match the room perfectly, so I just kind of put them in this frame and framed them. And then this is from Ikea. This was a pain in the, you know what, to put together. Um, before I show you guys what's inside, you should just know that I do collect some Barbies. I'm not, like, crazy obsessed with them. And I have a slight obsession with pigs, so... That pig up there my mom got me. I don't even know where, but I thought it was so funny because it kind of matches the room perfectly. So if I open up, and I think this was the Hemneys collection. I don't know. Um, up there, some 2008, 2009 Barbie, the Generation of Dreams. This is all my little pigs. Um, this one came with a little book. My mom got me that for Christmas one year. And then I have, like, cute little blown glass pigs. My brother found me this in um, Cape Cod, I think. Little princess pig. My mom found me these little guys at a craft show. This is the little pig from Cars, the movie Cars. Um, that's a pig, I think, from Hallmark. You can, like, make a wish. My grandmother made me that when I was, like, a baby. This one, 
plays music. Let's see if it's okay. I love it. <laughs> he dances. Here you go, bud. <laughs> okay. So I don't even know where he's from. That was a gift. This little happy birthday pig I got one year. And then this guy hangs like from a trapeze thing. And I used to have it hung up in my room, but I kind of just put it in there. And then down here I have the 1959 um, original Teenage Fashion Model Barbie, which I love. In the middle is Hello Kitty Barbie, the Hello Kitty doll from MAC. I have a Christian Louboutin Barbie, the Italy Barbie, which I'm half Italian, and Yankees, because that's my favorite team. Um, a lot of these I found at Toys R Us. Some of them I found on eBay. The Christian Louboutin one I found on net portier like a couple years back. So you can probably guess that Nick loves this little curio. Not really, but I think this is honestly meant for like a dining room curio, but I just made it whatever I wanted. Um, because the walls were blue, I wanted it to be really chic. <laughs> this couch and love seat are both from Ikea. It's, um, I think the I-Corp or E-Corp set, um, Couch and love seat. I mean, sofa, I mean, love seat and whatever this is, ottoman. These pillows are from Pier 1 Imports. I have two of them. Um, I started to realize that it was too, like, I was buying everything Tiffany blue and white, and it was just getting to be too much. So I wanted to bring in another color. And if you guys know me, then you know pink's my favorite color. So I did it subtly because Nick does kind of use this room sometimes, and I didn't want to freak him out. <laughs> Um, on that wall, I just have those little shelves that I showed you that I got at Hobby Lobby. The little glass vases, the clear ones, are from Michael's, and then I filled them with those little pink and white little, like, flower seeds. The big flowers, which look like big Gerber daisies, which I love, are from Michael's, and I got them really cheap. The blue glass bottles are from Hobby Lobby, and that little scented thing is from Pier 1 Imports. I just bought it because it matched the room. I have not figured out what I want to do on this wall. Um, it's a massive wall, as you can see. So, probably going to do like a painting or something. I just haven't figured out what I want to do yet. Um, that's the little picture I found at Target, which I thought was cutesy. This little display is all my jewelry supplies for my Etsy store. Necklaces, orders that need to be made, packaging, supplies, stuff like that. That frame up there, I haven't decided, A, what pictures I want to put in it, and B, if I want to paint it pink or blue, or just leave it white. So I'm just leaving that as is. Um, start here. This little filing cabinet, um, because the desk didn't have filing cabinet drawers, I got at Target. It was pretty cheap. Um, it's just two pull-out drawers. This is my the favorite part of the whole room. These are all the cards and note cards and little gifts and things that I've gotten from subscribers. Um, I, I tried to fit all of them, but it was honestly really hard. I bought the frames at Michael's and then this pink glittery paper also at Michael's and I just backed it with cork behind it and then I just used little push pins to kind of display them. Um, I framed one of them so you could see that it's glass and then this one I left without so I can add. I love, like that's my favorite part when I get little gifts from you guys or just unexpected cards. Um, I love that, so I love love displaying them. Um, okay, and then this desk, let me push in the chair, is from Raymond Flanagan. And let me just tell you, it is not easy finding a white desk. This isn't even white, it's like off-white, which I was a little paranoid about at first because you can see the contrast in the white. But I'm okay with it because it does add some dimension. Um... But yeah, it was really hard to find like a white desk and I wanted something a little bit more feminine. I didn't want it to look just like typical office desk. So I had to go up in the kids department and this was actually a discontinued set. Um, it comes with this little hutch up here which can be detached, which I haven't decided if I want to detach or not yet. If I do detach it, I'm going to just um, mount it onto the wall or something. This chair is also from Raymore and Flanagan and but it came with a different collection, but it matched the beige perfectly. And then my mom just reupholstered this little chair seat for me with just a piece of fabric that I bought from Hobby Lobby. And I just reupholstered the chair. Um, 
bought more of the Gerber Daisy big fake flowers because they match the room perfectly. And then I don't know if you can see in there I have, they actually have like the Tiffany blue clear stones with the clear ones. And this little vase I showed you before. So um, I'll show you my friends. Those are all like my, some of my best friends. This girl, this girl, and this girl are all going to be my wedding. This is my maid of honor. This is a friend of Kristen's. She's from Pittsburgh. I only just met her this weekend that I was in Pittsburgh. And that was at <laughs> Macy's shoe department. We were there for like two hours. And eventually the, um, the guy just like brought out all his shoes he had in the back. And we just had a field day. So we took a picture. And then that's a picture of my family, my graduation. This is the little card stationery box that I got at Burlington Coat Factory, if you're wondering. And they have all different styles inside. So, and then there's my little garbage can that matches perfectly. So, <laughs> say bye, Jakers. Say bye-bye. So, honestly, overall, this room, very affordable. I didn't want to go crazy with it. Um, I'm so happy with how it turned out. I absolutely love the color and even Nick's okay with it. My dad and his dad love it. It's very like serene and calm. <laughs> He's going crazy. It's very like serene and peaceful. It's a nice work, work, um, sensitive work environment. What did you do, Jake? He's itchy. Skin's dry. Um, Nick's going to kill me when he watches this video <laughs> for letting him up there. Jakers, you're not supposed to be up there, buddy. Daddy says no, but I won't tell. Shh. It'll be our little secret. Um, yeah, so I, I'm so happy with how the color turned out. And all I did was I took a Tiffany box to Sharon Williams, and they completely matched the color perfectly. <laughs> so, um, I mean, everything, even the stuff from Ikea, completely affordable. The desk was probably the most expensive thing. Everything else, like I said, I loved going to Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Marshall's, Target, all that stuff. I found there. So that's my little office slash jewelry factory. <laughs> um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful. Jake, say bye. Say bye. Where are you going? Sit. Sit. Who's a good boy? Say bye-bye. Say bye. I love you.